Hello, beloved tribe. This is Emily Potter. I'm the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. And I had a couple people share this with me recently, so I wanted to do a video about it. The concern is that you do not actually doubt yourself. You're not someone who doesn't believe in yourself, but you just don't know how to get your music journey from point A to point B. So there's all sorts of belief in who you are and what your vision is. It's just that you don't know the steps to take. So I wanna share with you something, the very foundational principle that I believe in, in this that, that rectifies this, that, that's the solution, is from the beginning of time, this is the way that humans support each other and serve each other, is that knowledge is passed down. So somebody goes through something and then they have that knowledge to then offer the, the next person. So it's, it's from the beginning with our ancestors that there's been the, mas someone masters a craft and then has an apprentice to offer that that skill to. And we see it always in, in our human world. This is the way that this works. And so that's the foundational principle of how this works is that you don't know what to do next. You have the vision and yet the points along the way, point A to point B are lost to you. And so you are, if you are actually having this as one of your difficulties, you're, you're most likely experiencing one of three of these situations. Number one, is that you don't know what steps to take. You would, you would take the steps if you knew what they were, but you don't know what they are. Number two is that you want guidance from someone, but you want to be very discerning in who you listen to because you want the guidance to come from someone. This is, this is who you're looking for, is someone who has been where you, have, where you are right now and who has what you want. I'm going to say that again. You are being discerning in who you listen to because you want someone to get you and to understand where you are right now and, and where you want to go. And so you might be just waiting and, and creating space for that to be the person that you listen to. And so you might just feel lost without knowing what to do next because you don't have that guidance. And number three, I, I imagined that this is a really good analogy. Imagining yourself on a cliff side and you're, you're looking over there and there's a chasm between you and the vision. You have the vision, you have the belief, all of that is set in place for you. That is not a concern. But the vision is on the other side of the chasm and you don't know how to get there. There's this huge, huge cliff face in front of you and you're, you're sure that you can get there. You just don't know how to get there. So you have this, this chasm, you're looking for a map of how to get to the vision and to have it manifested. So if those sound familiar to you and you resonate, I want to share with you that this is the way that people get through this, this difficulty is number one, you either just figure it out yourself, you just start to just figure it out, or you invest in a map. You invest in the apprenticeship program of whatever that is. And this has been the beginning of time that people have the knowledge and they're ready to offer it to the people who are looking for the map. So that's what I want to share with you is that you can do either way because both are legitimate. I had a tribe brother tell me once, I don't actually, I want to be able to do this all by myself. And I blessed his journey because that's, that's a way. Now, for some of you, you're not interested because you actually have tools available to you from people who have gone through this journey already. And so you're looking for a shortcut, which is appropriate. It's the way that the human world works. So either way is, is being blessed by me. You do your thing. I want to ask you if you would like to know if you and I are a vibrational map, a vibrational match together for that map. I want you to receive my challenge to listen to your heart because the map that I hold is not for everyone. But if, if it is for you and your heart actually knows that the map that I'm holding to offer you to actually get from point A to point B, if it's going to work for you, then your heart's going to resonate with what I am saying and what this group stands for. Whoever you decide to listen to, I want to emphasize something very strongly. You are too 
beings put together two callings. You are a spiritual leader and you are a musician. So whoever you decide to listen to, whatever, whatever guidance you receive, make sure that you're at least focused on those two coming together and enmeshing as you go forward with your purpose so that you have that, that deep ceremonial space that you're able to offer with your your talents and your gifts as a musician so the two are being honored within you whoever you choose to listen to whoever is going to be giving you guidance make sure that they see you and make sure that you stand in your power in both of those ways this is the way that i want to serve and how i do serve this tribe the very most is that i see you as both a spiritual leader and as a musician so there is there are tools for you you don't have to stay stuck in the on the cliff and just think I don't know what to do you keep making those forward movements if you decide to do it for yourself and by yourself I bless your journey and keep supporting keep keep knowing that there's support available to you in this tribe as you figure it out yourself if you decide that you want a shortcut you want a map from someone who's actually been through it and who's willing to offer and pass down that knowledge to you do your inner work let your heart guide you to know if this is actually what you decide that you're, it's good for you. And when you are ready and you've, re you've received your heart's answer that you and I are a vibrational match, private message me and we will get you to the other side and manifesting that vision. Lots of love to you all today. Have a wonderful, beautiful, fantastic weekend. This weekend particularly is special for our tribe because we started our Earth Day celebration yesterday, as we have that happen every Thursday, Earth Song Day, and then Monday is Earth Day. So I invite everybody to, to offer their songs for the Earth for this, this, cere this ceremony that we all share together of really loving our mama, our mama Gaia. So that's our weekend, at least it's the dedication of the weekend for our tribe, and sending love to everybody this weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.